August 2018, Warminster, England, about 100 miles west of London. From the side of a highway, the passenger in a parked car notices something in the evening sky, two bright orbs moving separately. At first, it looks like it might be a couple of helicopters or drones, but then look at this. They split into five or six smaller objects. The cluster continues to fly in unison, illuminating the sky and coordinating maneuvers for a full three minutes. We considered UFOs and secret military tech, but ultimately, the answer seemed to come from testing the validity of the video itself, and a suspicious edit gave one of our experts pause. The transition out of the hill was removed from the video. I think I have to label this one uh, a hoax. At the time, our original analysis led us to believe that this video was doctored to deceive. But then you, our beloved viewers, got involved, and that changed everything. When the original segment hit YouTube, some viewers claim this wasn't faked footage after all. This video really needed a second look at because of this new information. So our ace video analyst, Mick West, went back to check the authenticity of the video and its suspicious edit. I think what actually happened in this location was the cameraman simply moved the camera down, lost the shot, and then moved it back up again as they came out from behind the hill. And so they just did a little edit to remove that little bit of dead air. Because of this, West doesn't think trickery or CGI was involved, which negates our old verdict. Everything else about the video seems very genuine to me. The way the objects move seems very consistent. West also X'd out other hypotheses, natural and technological. There was a bunch of different hypotheses, one of which was a meteor shower, and you can kind of rule that out because it changes direction. Another possibility, drones that were rigged with fireworks, that you don't generally have drones with fireworks on because drones are quite small. Also, military technology was kind of ruled out because they're not going to be testing some kind of secret military technology by the side of the road where anyone can see it. Which to West only meant one thing. This is obviously something that isn't secret. It's something that's either is intended to be seen or they don't care if people see it. But what other explanations could have possibly fit the bill? The answer almost flew past us, that is, until we logged onto social media. We were contacted by a viewer who recognized what he was seeing on screen, and he suggested that what we might be looking at was actually pyrotechnic planes. Pyrotechnic planes are aircraft that use their wide wingspan to slowly release fireworks from their wingtips. They've been used in a variety of functions, from air shows or weddings to the deployment of destruction in war zones. But if that's what we're seeing, who was the responsible party? All it took was a simple internet search of the business located in the area of the sighting. I run a company called Airborne Pyrotechnics, and we fly a couple of Grog motor gliders with pyrotechnics and LEDs. And this is my son, Tom. He's my second pilot. Airborne Pyrotechnics is run by Tim and Tom Dews, who have flown all over the world. And it's not the first time one of their displays has been mistaken for a UFO. They even have a warning on their website for that very reason. It's funny, you know, we can do a really nice display and put half a dozen pictures up and get 50 views, and somebody takes a shaky, wobbly video of us from 10 miles away, and you can't even make out what it is, says the word UFO, and it gets thousands, hundreds of thousands of views. I just, I just can't understand it. Our new verdict? You guessed it, airborne pyrotechnics. The plane the dues fly, the Grob 109B, is a twin-seat self-launching motor glider. It's been used by the Royal Air Force to train cadets in basic flying. 